Welcome to the Hip Talk Podcast, the podcast where we talk about all the new and great things coming to the Hedera Network. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about Release 52, which is scheduled for August, and I'm very honored to be joined by Doug, uh, my colleague at Hashgraph, uh, who's the release manager for Release 52. Hey, Doug. Hey, Keith. How's it going? Very good. So um, we've introduced a couple of new exciting features in Release 52, I think two notable things. Um, HIP 632 and HIP 904. So maybe we'll just talk about what these new features are and what they bring to the community. And we can start with HIP 632. Um, you know, what's exciting about that for you? So HIP 632 was a request from the community. It is a different way to handle signatures without getting too deeply into the details. We support in smart contracts, ECDSA and ED25519 signature verification. So this will streamline transaction authentication within contracts. So really it's an upgrade for authorization flow uh, from contract to contract. Awesome. Um, and the other major feature we are adding is, uh, you know, Obviously, HIP 904 is a very large project in Hedera, and it's going to actually be spread over multiple releases. But we released some of the first pieces of this in uh, Release 52, in particular, the token reject capability, um, which is part of HIP 904. I wonder if you could just quickly talk about that. Yep. So HIP 904 will be released slowly in pieces over three different releases we're projecting at this moment. As you said, it's complicated, and this one is the token reject functionality part of 904. Um, this allows users to reject undesired tokens and generally allows users to clean up tokens that they see in their accounts that they don't want there. It protects users from scams or unwanted airdrops and helps users just generally manage what's happening tokening token wise on their account on hashscan it won't be released on hashscan right now but when 904 is fully baked but there will be accompanying features also released on hashscan to allow users to to manage these tokens so you'll be able to maintain your account association with a token you like or not maintain it with ones that you don't like and you can enable future transactions if you if you so desire. Great. All right. Well, those sound like two really great feature additions to the Hedera network and really valuable for the Hedera community. So thank you very much for your time today, Doug. I appreciate it. As always, you know, if people want uh, status updates on where we are in terms of Release 52 being available on Testnet or Mainnet, we have our uh, status page that you can go to. And as always, you can always go to hedera.com for more information. So again, thanks, Doug, and I uh, hope everyone has a great day.